Que no, eh, ahí, ahí me van durango, ahí me hizo tanta en at singular. So, eh, I'm going to, I, I will try to explain you about the uh, business point of view, about the technology and ecosystem management. And I will try, I will try to merge two new worlds, that is uh, a human data interaction and uh, ecosystem management. For me, it's a new world. Okay. So, thank you, thank you for everybody, because I didn't know anything about the forest before this Congress. So, I, I know I have a 1% one one percent of knowledge that I need. I'm sorry, but uh, I enjoyed a lot this, this, this conference. The first thing I, I, I would like to say with you is I'm, I'm sure you are wondering yourself uh, why is Ivan walking around this room? He is a crazy man, maybe. No. I think we need to, to break the rules with technology because we need to, to feel that we are innovating things in technology. This is, this, I was speaking this kind of topics with Felipe and another, and we have a time to market. So we need as fast as we can. When, when we think about the projects in the ecosystem, or in bank, or in retails, we, we don't use uh, technology on prep. We only use technology in the group. So that's a very bit different, uh, a very, very different to think. When we, are, when we have a new project, our, our, our ideas is around this kind of very crazy architectures. So uh, we think first how the data are going to be ingested to the, to the system. We processing this data with different kind of resource. After this, we, we can, uh, we have a, a special uh, layer to machine learning and artificial intelligence. And after that, we show the, the data and make the resources. You can imagine we have a very big uh, team and we have experts in one of these kind of layers. So, uh, uh, for uh, these kind of things, we have other data driven um, ideas. Every business and every company here in Spain wants to be a data driven company. You know, this is the trending topic now. Why? Because when you have uh, a data driven system or to a data driven company, you uh, take all your data or all your data you know, and uh, with this data you can uh, take a strategic uh, decision. That is very important for the company. Uh, you can see here uh, why you uh, we create a different insight and show the, the data to the uh, I don't know how to say it, the business manager of the, of the company and this data it's for to take actions, real actions. You know? This is more complex than three icons, you know? Because with this data, they can optimize operation, they can predict the future, and they can do a lot of things. Okay? And you can think why Singular is uh, interesting to participate in this kind of, of things in a ecosystem management. Well, we have I have only two data that we have in, into into a call. One of them it is seventy eight percent of the biodiversity has declined by nineteen seventy. This is a report from twenty twenty. Seventy eight percent. I think I am scared with these, these data. And uh, but how much is natural worth? About a hundred of trillions of dollars per check. That's a real data. So, if we lose a biodiversity, we are poor and poor day per day. But not only, I, I don't only speak about money, you know. I speak about our, no, our children or our society. Okay. That's very strange. That's, I, I think with digital data, we have enough motivation to work with 
de Carlos Escalera. About 100 data interaction, uh, we, we made a, a systematic review. Uh, you, you can find a lot of meanings of this new topic because it, this is a new topic in a, in a big data. But for us, it's uh, the interaction between people and data. How people interact with the data. This is a very easy to say, <laughs> but in a practical way, it's, it's, it's very difficult to know and, and to do it. But the question here, if anybody in this room can answer me, how much time do we invest in taking care of the data for our modern application in ecosystem management? Anyone? <coughs> I think the answer is that it depends on the field. It depends on the field. But my field is nobody thinks about the data. Nobody thinks about the data. Because I, we found, or, and, and we find that the data have a very poor quality. We need to restructure the data when I find the data. When, when, it, when we need to work with the data to make a, a, a machine learning model. Because if the data is, a, is poor, the machine model is poor. If you have a very good data quality, you are going to have a very good machine learning model. So here, we have a new concept that is data datafication. I like this, this kind of word. What is this? It's to put all, all of our aspects in the life into the data. Why not to put data from forest or, or, or information from forest and ecosystem into the data? No. And, uh, in a, in a human data interaction point of view, we, we have a lot of frameworks to use to, to be sure that we are working in the right way. One of them is DEMA. It's a global organization that we work as a human data interaction with data management, processing and discovery. We use data governance ledgers to know the lineage of the data because this is very important. All data security to maintain the security of the data. So, how, uh, what, which benefits have human data interaction? You can take decisions making in your data process. You are, you are going to go or you are going to be more efficient when you use the data. This is very good for the market. We need, we need to sell. And I think in the forest, we need to sell it too. So you can personalize your visualization, depends on your user, for example. This is very good for marketing. No? And we can collaborate with the data with another, with each other. So I'm going fast. <laughs> so here, the usability of our, not only in the data, but in our apps, it's, it's very important. And we have the opportunity with this because you, you, are, you, are, gonna, you are gonna see that uh, if we match human data interaction with ecosystem management, we don't have any paper with we we didn't find any paper to that speak about this kind of topic. And we have the power here because we're the first. <laughs> so what about human data in, in interaction in ecosystem? So, there are no specific statistics, but there are, I, I found four uh, papers with four projects. One of the Stanford University, uh, California, Queensland. You can read. <laughs> That's all. And uh, I'm going to speak about four aspects, important aspects in uh, human data interaction in ecosystem. One of them. It is citizen science. That's it, how citizens uh, can collaborate to, the, to, to get better data. But the main, the main here, the, the most important thing here is, as Laura said before, I like it, is how we sell this data and this project to the citizens. This is very important. 
Another question here is an open data. We, we have a lot of open data, but what do you think? The data that is interested is public data or is private data at the business have the best the best data? What do you think? I think that the, the private sector have the best data. In a public data, you have a lot of problems. For example, you don't have a data governance. Or on the data quality is very poor. With the Nacorella paper at uh, Nice Speaking, we uh, removed 2,000 of trees because of the data. It's what all of this kind of things. About data analytics, we use data analytics in, in each part of the, of the data cycle. We use data analytics to know how, that, how the data is in the source. We use, use data analytics to make the, the, the machine learning models. And we analyze how to show the, this data to the, to the person. That the person here is the, the most important thing. And about visualization. We think that it's important to, to maintain the communication in the all ledgers with visualization. Okay. Machine learning is the same. The, 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 main thing, the main thing here is this. Let's reliance on human interaction. This is a little bit scary. I prefer to, to maintain the contact with the, with the systems. <laughs> uh, we found uh, several studies to propose human data interaction. One of these is being naturally it's a mistake because it is naturally it's about to, to take pictures to the animals to, to understand the, uh, to be more knowledge. The butterfly cover service. I'm gonna say the, the presentation so you can do it in your home with a glass of meat. <laughs> so the benefits in human data interaction in system management is provide better data collection analysis, of course, to have better data to, to, to have better uh, decision or to take a better, better decision, uh, to have a more transparency and collaboration between citizens or researchers, um, better understand the ecosystem, for me it's very good. This, this one and increase the poor requirements but without with uh, data security, data governance and etc. Challenges and limitation again the data quality. Uh, we need to be more specialists in uh, next to the, 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 the ecosystem management. How many how many IT staff are there in the room? Two. Two. That's okay. <laughs> Human bias and interpretation. Yes, a uh, very good challenge. And the communication. This is a takeaway. This is a landscape about. Uh, this is the resource we use to resolve problems. About that data, artificial intelligence, visualization. You can click, and that's what you do. <laughs> It took it here. I don't know it. It is very good. And it is growing. You know. You can see here. It's growing and growing. And that's all. <laughs> Thank you very much.